Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting attacking chess game by the attacking chess master, one of the greatest attacking chess players of all times, Alexei Shirov, who had the white pieces and his opponent was Kirill Kuderinov, chess international master from Kazakhstan and this was from the chess world cup a tournament from 2005. Let's see what happened in this chess game. So Shiro starts the game with e4, e5, knight to f3 and we have the Spanish game d6, d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, developing the bishop, developing the knights and Shiro decided to give up the bishop for creating damaged pawn structure and black is capturing back with the pawn. If bishop takes it doesn't matter, it's not going to make much big difference because then Shiro was perhaps planning to capture the bishop and damage the pawn structure. So developing the queen, c5, knight to f5, getting rid of the knight and Shiro opens the e-file. This might be useful, so rook over, placing the rook in the semi-open file, b3 and developing the bishop, bishop to b2, d5 and Shiro played a natural looking move. He castled from the queen side. And it looks natural because, uh, as you can see, Shirov's three of the pieces of Alexei Shirov is targeting the d-pawn. And uh, white has a very active position. So black is defending the pawn. And after g4, black castled. And it looks like this is castling into it because white is unleashing his pawns and pushing the pawn. As you can see, Shirov's pawns in the king side is rolling. So h4, bishop to e5, queen to f5, rook to b7, and pushing the h-pawn, as you can see, look at the pawn structure of Shirov in the king side. They are going all the way, and it looks extremely aggressive. So queen to a5, defending the knight with lifting to rook up, a very flexible move. And also, it is a multi-purpose move, so that Shirov can also swing the rook if needed. And he can also double the rooks. So it gives white some flexibility as you can see. So queen to b4. And it is white to move. How to break through in this position? How to make any progress if you had the white pieces? Well, Alexei Shirov decided to sacrifice his knight. Knight takes on d5. Bishop takes on b2. King takes on b2. And actually black has to capture the knight. Uh, not just because of attacking the queen, so if defending the queen, we can check the king and that's actually extremely dangerous. So it looks like the king is not going to survive and also attacking the knight uh, with the rook after checking the king. So what else? Capturing the knight and then f takes on g7 by Alexei Shirov. King takes on g7, if defending the rook. Then we have g6 and this is a very strong move for white and black is losing. So king takes on g7 or rook takes on d5 defending the knight with the queen and the b-pawn is pinned of course. Doubling the rooks, attacking the knight, defending with the rook, rook to d8. Black can't move the knight because knight is defending on f6 and as you can see black has a very difficult position to defend already even though a white sacrificed a piece but the king is exposed and because of the past pawns because of the phone pawns and this looks like a difficult position to defend so we have rook to d8 but if defending the knight if something like this then we have check and if king to h8 then check and then checkmate there is no defense so in this position after checking the king if king to g8 then we have queen to f6 and you can't defend the checkmate threat so rook over rook over and h6 sending the king back and it is white to move and win what would you do in this position it looks like black is just defending right on time but actually in this position white has a very strong move and after that move the chess international master from Kazakhstan is in big trouble. So can you see the next move of Alexei Shirov? If I give you five seconds, because after that move, whatever black does, black is lost. 
So it looks like the knight is defending some of the very important key squares and in this position how to how to win as white. So your time is starting from now. I'm also going to count. So if you need, you can also pause the video. One, two, three, four and five. So this is what Alexei Shiro played. Queen to e5, what a move. And threatening checkmate on g7. And also sacrificing the queen. But we have f6. Not capturing the queen. Actually, this move is a pointless move. If capturing the queen, then we take the rook, check, only defense, capturing the queen, checkmate. So queen to e5, f6, but Shiro played the move and black resigned. Queen to e7, how to defend the checkmate threat? It's all over. So queen to g7, checkmate. So this is why this f6 move was a pointless move. If in this position, something like this, then check, checkmate. And if something like rook over, which doesn't make any sense, of course, then getting checkmated and there is no defense. So what do you think about this chess game? I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game and I hope to see you next time with more amazing interactive chess games. Take care and bye bye.